Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Welcome to General Robotics R&D Center. Today we're going to show you the Pitbull light and smart LCWS. So as you can see the Pitbull is very light, weighs only 180 pounds and can carry all kinds of caliber from 5.56, 7.62 and 50 cal. Now come take a look at the interface. The interface is also very lightweight, only 6 pounds. You can move the crosshair by point and shoot technology. You just click on where you want to go and you go. Now let's get the system on the move. We have here a simulator that simulates as if the system is installed on any manned or unmanned platform. It can be on the land, at sea or at the air. Now let's get back to the interface. You see that when the system is moving, without stabilization, it would be very difficult to hit the target. But if we click on stabilization, it is as if the system is not moving at all. So this is why it's much easier to hit when you're on stabilized mode. Now come and see our target prediction algorithm. We have here a drone that simulates a drone from 300 meters. It simulates this kind of DJI drone from 300 meters. Now, if we simulate a shot, take a shot. We have a laser that simulates every shot. Now, let's get this drone on the move. You can see that even when I'm moving the drone, we have a prediction of where the drone is going to be, so every shot hits. That's our target prediction algorithm. And this is what happens to drones that are shot by our system. This is, these are the drones. So if you want to see these drones being shot live, you can follow us on social media and see these videos on LinkedIn. If you didn't know, now you know. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.